Hi, it's Tammy and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I was given a challenge by my niece, my brother's oldest daughter. She is now vegetarian and her favorite vegetable is eggplant. Bow, 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 bow. Now, there's not just one eggplant, there's, these are the three I picked up. Japanese, Chinese, and kind of standard American eggplant. Now, I know a lot of people don't like eggplant, and that's, that's cool beans. That's cool beans, you know. It took me a while, but I warmed up to eggplant. I kind of like it now. Actually, I like it a lot. Um, reminds me of, oh, no, okay, I won't do that. Maybe later. Anyway. Uh, eggplant. So what are we making today? So my first recipe this week with the eggplant is going to be eggplant pizzas. Now these are going to be breaded eggplant pizzas and the reason is, is whenever I see the eggplant pizzas that other people are making, they cut them very thick and they do that because when eggplant is fully cooked, you know it gets very soft. And in order for it to hold all your extras, whoops, sorry that was my phone, in order for it to hold all your extras, You've got to make it thick, but if you bread it and you pre-cook it a little bit, it will hold everything and you can cut it fairly thin. Now I cut mine a quarter inch thick. That's pretty thin for, a, for an eggplant uh, and be able to hold up to everything you want. So that's what we're going to bake today and it's really, really good. I'm even going to make my son taste it because he likes cheese pizzas. I'll let you know how he liked them. We'll see. But anyway, these are really good. Now, the other thing I wanted to say and before I forget, because I always forget to do these things on the outro. Now, this is going to have tomato sauce on it. Now, let's say, sorry, I should probably turn that off. Let's say you have some extra tomato sauce. Now, I don't have any ice trays. I just have candy trays. What I do is I put my tomato sauce in there or my spaghetti sauce or my tomato paste or whatever sauce I have left over. Put it in here, throw them in the freezer when they're solid, pop them out, put them into a, a you know, a plastic Ziploc bag and have it for later. Now they'll save up and stay good for about up to a month. So it's how I do it. it. Saves me a little bit of money. I don't know how you want to do it, but it works well. So try it out. Anyway, so why don't we go ahead and let's get cooking. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and make up your sauce. So into your tomato sauce, pour all of your spices. I just went ahead and measured them out beforehand. Add your two tablespoons of ketchup. Give it a little mix around and set it aside until it's needed. Now we're going to go ahead and make the breadcrumb and Parmesan cheese mixture. Going to mix that up really well and then we're going to go ahead and dump our rounds in there. And There's the round. Dump it in the egg first. Once you have it fully coated, kind of give it a shake off. You're going to put it in the flour mixture. Now the flour has salt and pepper in it. That's just an all-purpose. In here it's a gluten-free flour because I eat gluten-free. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it back into the egg. Coat it evenly with the egg, give it a little shake off, and then you're going to put it into the breadcrumb mixture again. Fully coat it. Make sure that you've got it, just really coat it with that, that, uh, that mixture there. And then just set it aside and you're all done. So you're going to pop them in the oven for 10 minutes. Once you pull them out of the oven, you're going to flip them over and you can see how they're nicely browned on one side. And you're going to sauce the brown side because after you get done saucing them, putting the cheese on them, putting whatever toppings you want on them, you're gonna put these back into the oven for another 10 minutes. Now, what I like to do is after that 10 minutes, I like to put them in the broiler for a, a, just like two more minutes because maybe I'm weird, but I like my cheese browned on top. I know a lot of people don't. 
that is fully optional. These are done after that second 10 minute. There is, there's really no reason to put them back in. The cheese will be completely melted. Everything will be hot all the way through. It's really up to you at that point. Each of these rounds takes about a tablespoon of salt. And then as far as your toppings, that's really up to you. If you're gonna use any kind of meat topping like a sausage or chicken, just make sure that those are cooked first because after 10 minutes is not enough to fully cook any kind of meat. Now pepperoni is already cooked, so you can just throw that on there. That's not a big deal. So throw these back in the oven, 10 minutes at 350, and you are all done. Okay, so I hope that was clear. I'm sure it was. You guys are brilliant. These are so, so good. I know I say that about all my recipes, but really, I wish you could smell the kitchen right now. So what I did was I had baked them for that first 10 minutes, flipped them over, sauced them, cheesed them, put whatever toppings you want on them, cooked them for another 10 minutes, and then I like to stick mine under the broiler just because I like my cheese all brown. Some people don't, and that's okay for pizzas. You can pull them out after that 10 minutes and they're perfectly done. There's no reason to have to actually slam them into the broiler. Uh, that's just me. Now. What's nice about these is this, woo, we almost lost them. This can be a meal, you know, add some other veggies, add some fruit to it. You are good to go. Or if you cut them up, they can be appetizers. Now I'll, there will be a picture right there. You should see the picture of them right there. These are so good. I mean, they just, they're, you know, watch. Oh, do you wanna, do you wanna bite first? No, you you always say no to me. You're giving me a complex. Okay, I'll try. You just came out of the oven. Mmm. It's a pizza. Tastes like a pizza. Now, if you're not vegetarian, throw some pepperoni on there for your appetizers or for your dinner. I want to eat this whole thing, so I'm going to wrap this up. One more bite. Mm. Mm. Oh, hot. Mm. I just like them with the breadcrumbs on them because it's, without the breadcrumbs, I think it's just too mushy. With the breadcrumbs, it gives you that crunch like you're biting into a pizza crust, so. That's why I like them. And as an appetizer, they hold up better. Now, I am going to be doing a recipe with the Chinese and the Japanese eggplant. Here's a Japanese eggplant. Japanese eggplants are smaller, remember? Um, I'm going to be doing kind of the same thing as these as an appetizer. And I'll have that. I'll, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a video on that since you saw how the dipping and all that went. I may just put that on on the website. So, if you like this recipe, you can find it down in the description uh, at my website. Just go over there. It's not really over right there. It's it's on the web, which is out there. So. Click on the recipe below, that'll take you to my website. You'll find other recipes there also. You'll find art and photography and some DIY projects also. I'm gonna be getting up some more DIY projects. I'm very excited about that. I just finished filming those. So I should have those up either later this week or next week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel. And remember, enjoy life. It's the one you have. Bye-bye.